how you wish those. Mm-hmm. Um, what hardware buttons does it have? Uh, very few. It's very limited. We've got um, the power button right here and uh, the volume control on the side. It's very sleek, very clean. Uh, you don't see many buttons at all. Uh, sorry? Oh, yeah. Um, two. Five megapixel camera on the back, two megapixel camera on the front. So, um, let me walk you guys. So, in Android 3.0 is what we're most excited about. A ton of uh, new functionality just for the tablet platform, right? It's not like we're taking the phone OS and just magnifying it up to a tablet perspective. This is completely redone, redesigned. Thank you. Have a good one. Will it be available for four phones too, or is it. Uh, yeah. We believe, I believe Honeycomb is just the tablet software. So this is the browser. <clears throat> uh, bring up QWERTY right away. You start seeing a lot of this is redone. It's the first time you start seeing uh, tapped browsing available in Android, uh, which is great. Some of you are available are uh, very familiar with Chrome already. We have uh, incognito mode, which is uh, for some of you who want to go into private browsing or whatever you don't want anything saved. I'm sure you all know what I'm talking about. <laughs> um, so you go into that, uh, you see that incognito mode right there. Actually, it's the next display. You see the browser's redone, 3D layout, very, very cool. Is the um, performance uh, in the videos enhanced in any way? Like, so, uh, performance is very or? enhanced. The dual core processor helps I considerably. Mean, uh, in the videos, are they fixed for a better smoothness or is it uh, just uh, taken from the... In some areas, video, a lot of the scrolling, for instance, in the uh, maps, right? We moved, Google's moved from uh, 